Good afternoon. Good day. Is it a good day? Yes. You've got energy. You've, you've uh, brought good weather <laughs> to San Diego. It's, anytime it's raining, that's good weather. And, uh, you know, the climate here is really positive, I can tell. Positive energy, the climate, the atmosphere is good. And so I'm just delighted. I'm excited that we're here together. Uh, this is part of the blueprint, the goals we set out four years ago to accomplish, to have a labor management collaborative and, and really look at how to work together in, in positive ways. And so, again, uh, welcome you all and thank you for your willingness to be here. We thought we'd have a couple of dozen schools and districts interested, and we had, I think, over 100 sign up. And so we're going to have to do a second forum in, in the North State uh, sometime in the fall. So that uh, speaks well for everybody's interest in working together. The California Collaborative, again, Shelley, thank you. It is really, uh, the foundation's really a great place to uh, organize events like this and keep them going. I also want to say that we appreciate the work that's been done before by others, and that includes Mary Sue and your team in the ABC, uh, the ABC United West Coast Regional Conference, and also the Caltern organization did some great work to be a foundation for the launch we're doing today. So back in 2011, a lot has happened since then, I asked my transition team to provide me with advice and we worked and came up with this idea that we should find some new ways of working together. And as I worked in the Senate and as I walked up and down the state and traveled all over California in two campaigns for this office, I heard a lot of concerns from the public about uh, contentious relationships between management and unions and teachers and it was negative energy and uh, we, we said well what can we do about that and how there are so many good ideas and good practices going on how can we share those on better ways to do this and so that's why we're here today uh, we know that we're in the midst of enormous changes exciting changes but it's a heavy lift a lot of work a lot of work to be done and we know that by working together we're going to get there in a stronger fashion. Uh, we have, as you're all well aware, the new California standards, we have a new collaborative, we have LCFF, we have LCAPS, uh, so much area where we need to pull our most creative energy and talents together to find the solutions for moving forward. We've, we call the path moving forward the California way uh, to a better, brighter future. Uh, we are doing it in ways when I travel around the country uh, other states now are marveling. They thought California was a little goofy at first, uh, not running to race to the top, not running uh, for no child left behind. Uh, we, we decided let's do it our way. And Prop 30 was a huge part of that. It's a keen focus that we have as to how do we stabilize the finances in our schools. And I'm going to continue to be a champion for doing that, but champion working together with you as a team to convince the public that we're doing great work and to put a spotlight on that great work that's happening in our classrooms every day. Uh, the C California standards is part of this. We're doing it our way. I've, by the way, shifted away from calling it the Common Core standards to our California state standards. Uh, it's not Obama ed, it's not Fed ed, it's, it's uh, something we're doing together and we're implementing together and there's a lot of lifting to do in that regard. Continuous improvement is a, is a solid part of that theme, building on the successes we've had. Uh, we did do away with the old test. Remember the battle we had with Washington? We're sort of doing it our way. Uh, we said no double testing, and then we said let's, you, you like that? How can we prepare for the future and the SBAC and where we want to go with the new style of learning? Uh, if we're stuck looking in the rearview mirror at the old CSTs. And we uh, also suspended the API so we could not, let's, let, let's let the pressure off and let us move in smoothly into the new area. What did you think about that? <laughs> and just two days ago at the State Board of Education, Mike Kirsten and I brought this up, president of the State Board of Education, uh, we said let's stop putting money into the SES the tutoring, the punishment for California for not having a waiver. And so we're asking for a federal waiver to free up that $400 million a year so we can spend it in our districts the way we know. 
we know best how to spend those dollars. And the way the waiver works, it could be spent uh, on summer schools, after school programs, extended learning programs, could be spent on tutoring, but it's a local decision. And that's another whole change that people in other states are marveling. Not only do we get $8 billion more a year, but we're putting the decision making in your hands, in the hands of teachers and classified and administrators and the community and the parents in setting priorities. And so again, it's an exciting time and having good labor management relationships will help us more smoothly implement these transitions. So again, I'm excited. You're a team. You know I'm a coach. Uh, T-E-A-M, you know what it spells. You know how to spell it and what it stands for. T-E-A-M. Together, everyone accomplishes more. And I know we're going to do that in this conference. And going forward, we're going to do it uh, in multiple dimensions of success. We're united in a common cause, a common goal, a common passion, common profession for helping our students succeed and becoming the best they can be. So thank you. Let's have a great conference. Ready to go? Let's do it.